Hey guys, Plant Based Gabriel here, and today I'm gonna to be making my Tropical Island Oatmeal. Now all we're gonna need for this recipe is one cup of frozen mango pieces and then one cup of frozen pineapple pieces. You can find those at most grocery stores. Um, you can also uh, cut up fresh fruit and freeze it yourself if you'd like. We're also gonna use one cup of still cut oats, three cups of water, one cup of a plant-based milk, and then one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now you can do this over the stove top in around 35 to 40 minutes on a low to medium heat, but I'm gonna be using my Instant Pot. I find it takes a little bit less time and I like to be able to set it and forget it. So I'm gonna bring you guys in here and we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, to get started, we're gonna load up our Instant Pot. I've got my three cups of water. We've got one cup of a plant-based milk. That's my walnut milk. We've got our oats. And we have our vanilla extract. And then last but not least, our frozen fruit. Now I'm going to go ahead, just give that one good stir. That looks good to me. We're gonna go ahead and set the Instant Pot to pressure cook for 25 minutes and we will be back when that is done. We're also gonna let that naturally release. So we'll be back in a few. Okay, we let the Instant Pot naturally release. It took around 30 minutes. Let's open it up and see how it looks. Oh, that looks absolutely fantastic. If you can see in there, we've got the nice chunks of pineapple and mango, uh, just fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead and get the kitchen cleaned up a little bit and I'll see you guys in just a second. Hey guys, I'm back. The kitchen is tidied up. My tropical island instant pot oatmeal smells absolutely delicious. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. Now, the backstory with this recipe, this is one that I actually came up with at my mother and father-in-law's. So shout out to Brad and Michelle for this recipe. This one is so delicious. It's really refreshing. Um, you know, this is a great one for the summertime, when, you know, even if it's hot out, um, you know, even if you have it cold, but uh, I prefer to have it warm in the morning. A really, really good recipe. If you guys go ahead and give it a try, let me know how it goes in the comment section below. And if you're on Facebook, make sure to give me a like at The Plant Based Gabriel. And if you're on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button with the little bell at Plant Based Gabriel. And as always, the recipe and all my other recipes can be found on my website at plantbasedgabriel.com. I am Plant Based Gabriel, thanking you for watching this video, hoping that I will see you very, very soon.